time for another installment of Scott in Sturgis, and this time around it's going to be the final time that we're doing any maintenance on the bike as we get ready to roll towards Sturgis. Um, I told you at the end of the last episode we would change the fluids in the bike, so that's what we're going to do this time around. We're going to change our primary oil, our transmission oil, and of course the engine oil. I'm all decked out and ready to go because it's a dirty project. I've got my long sleeves on. I've got a hat on because my hat's going to be on the floor of the garage a little bit. Uh, it's a dirty job, but it needs to be done, so let's get after it. It's Scott in Sturgis, all courtesy of Teal's Wheels and Upper Sandusky. Okay, let's get this job started. Now, the video is going to get a little jumpy here, and I apologize for that, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do first. First off, four quarts of oil go into the engine. A quart and a quarter goes into the primary, and about three quarters of a quart goes into the transmission. And what we're going to do first is the primary. And the drain plug for the primary is located right here. We're going to back it out and drain out all of the old primary fluid. I wanted to show you this very quickly. I don't know how well this is going to show up, but this is the drain plug from the primary. And on the tip of the drain plug, there's a tiny magnet, and the magnet catches any loose metal shavings that are floating around inside the primary. So we have to clean all of those metal shavings out before we uh, put the plug back in and refill our primary case. As we're waiting for the last little bit of primary fluid to drain out. We're going to start loosening up all of the bolts here around the derby cover. There are five of them. We'll get those off of there and expose the primary chain and we'll put our oil back in. All the old primary fluid is drained out and boy that is a good looking uh, oil pan. I guess I never noticed what bad shape my oil pan was in. But anyway, uh, here's our drain plug. We have to put it back in before we refill our primary because if we don't obviously it all runs back out. I'm not saying I've ever done that before or twice, but it, <laughs> it may happen to you. So put your drain plug back in and then we're going to refill our primary. Okay, I've taken out the five screws that hold the derby cover in place and now the uh, primary chain is exposed and we'll tilt the bike and we'll put our primary oil in now. All right, we've got the primary drained and now we're going to refill our primary. The primary takes one quart, four ounces. So I am loading her up right now with one quart and four ounces of fully synthetic primary chain lubricant. We've drained the primary and put our one quart, four ounces back in. Now we're going to put our derby cover back on and we'll be done with this particular part of the project. Now we're going to swing over to the other side of the bike and we're going to drain our transmission fluid and our engine oil. Alright, here's where the job gets really dirty. We're under the chassis of the motorcycle. Ooh, it's gross down here. Right here's the engine oil plug. We're going to give that a few turns and get the engine oil draining out. Back here is the transmission fluid drain. It's right here. And we'll give that one a couple of turns and get it draining as well. Once we get all of that stuff drained out, we'll put a new uh, oil filter on, refill our transmission, refill our motor oil, and we are ready to go to Sturgis. Our transmission oil has been drained. Now we're going to put the plug back in. And uh, our engine oil has also drained out, so we will put that plug in. Next we're going to take the oil filter off put the new oil filter in and then we'll fill the transmission case and the engine oil case and we'll be back in business. Okay for this part I put the bike up on the lift just because it's easier to get to the oil filter that way because not only do we have to take the oil filter off, the oil filter being whoops, right here, <laughs> sorry about the camera work there, but uh, it's a good idea to take the rectifier off so you don't get oil all over it. So in order to do that, we've got a couple of nuts and bolts that we have to take off to move that rectifier. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to remove that oil filter. So we're going to spin the oil filter off of there as fast as we can and 
try to hope for the least amount of leakage. Just like that. Here is our genuine Harley Davidson Super Premium Black Oil Filter. Only black. We're going to install it now. But before we do, we have to we have to put a little oil around the rim of that, so we'll just tip this bottle up onto my finger. We'll run a little fresh oil inside the threads. Ugh, hands are dirty. Told you this was the dirtiest job to do. <laughs> so there we go. That's on there. We put it right up here. And we spin her on. Hand tighten. And there you go. Fresh oil filter installed. All right, time to put the lubricant into the motorcycle, and here we go. This is our transmission, and uh, this is the transmission fill right here. Over here is the motor oil fill, and we'll get to that in a second, but first we're going to fill our transmission. Uh, this right here is a uh, funnel that I stole out of the kitchen, so don't tell Tammy, and we're going to use it <laughs> to fill my transmission case. Uh, one good thing that Harley did do, uh, they... Uh, thought ahead on this one. They uh, made it so that you could just finish out the Remember we put one quart and four ounces into the primary and now we're putting the rest of that quart because that's what it calls for into the transmission. So that's nice that they thought out, out that out. It takes exactly six quarts to change all of the fluids in a Harley. Now it's time to put four full quarts into the uh, engine, and I prefer Valvoline uh, synthetic, full synthetic, 20W50. It's never let me down yet. Again, right into Tammy's kitchen funnel. Final drips of the fourth quart into the motorcycle. We'll set this down on the ground. Grab our dipstick and uh, cover. Put it on. Give her a little wipe down. And we just changed all the fluids in the bike. We're ready to go to. And now we've changed all the fluids in the bike, and I am ready to ride to Sturgis. The next time you see one of these video blogs, it's going to be from the road towards Sturgis or either in Sturgis, South Dakota. It's all thanks to Teal's Wheels in Upper Sandusky.